Hello everyone. Uh, today we'll be learning about some of the basic commands about uh, Django ORM. ORM here means Object Relational Mapper. So uh, there one of ORM is one of the coolest features about Django. So it's simple and shorter, unlike uh, the traditional SQL queries where you write select star from this table with this and this etc. So they're too long. Whereas here in ORM, so that is pretty straightforward to understand and uh, it's very uh, easy to take the grip so assuming you guys know the uh, basics of uh, django so i have created a database table for us to play on with the orm queries so i created a person data table where the columns of the table are first name last name age link so i created id as a primary key and it's not mandatory even if you don't create a primary key of id id will be incremented automatically it's it's taken care by the database table so the same i have registered in admin screen so that we can directly view in the admin screen so basically uh, we can use sqlite database or mysql or postgres so i'm currently using postgres sql so as you can see uh, this is the postgres uh, sql pg admin 4 so this is these are some of the data that i entered fake data for just uh, playing around with the queries and uh, this is the admin screen so here uh, admin at one of the advantages of admin screen is that you have the control uh, control you have you have the absolute permissions to do whatever operations crude operations you want like you want to save edit delete and it's quite uh, user friendly so you can add whatever data you want accordingly so uh, so so yeah, let's uh, start with the basics of Django query. So, for, so this is the uh, shell that I'm using. So this is the shell. Uh, you will you can log on to the shell by typing manage dot py slash shell. Since I already logged in, so let's not coming again. So after getting into this ORM shell, so first we need to import models to query upon them so let's import some so from what is the model name so our app name is polls right so from polls dot models Im import person data so person data is the uh, table name here so if you want another table also in the future so it's you can also do import star which imports all the tables so we have successfully imported it so now we are ready to query upon it so as you can see so this is the table we have so how do we get all these values how do we fetch them in the backend so yeah let's start the basic query so you so to get the entire table which is select star from person data we need to do table name person data dot objects dot all so this is equivalent to select star from table name query uh, the, this is the exact equivalent so let's type this yes so see we got the result but as you can observe here this is the query set object so what is a query set object so query set object is like a representation of collection of uh, objects from your database so now you wanted to convert these objects into string representation so for that what we'll do is we'll write values we want the values represent string representation right see now you got the entire object in a string representation so let's convert them into proper list so i'll op open the previous query so now list of person data dot objects dot all dot values yes so this is a list of dictionaries as you can see id is one id is two so list of dictionaries where each dictionary is uh is one row in the database table let's verify so mark robert 23 mark dot com mark robert 23 mark dot com so eight rows eight dictionaries you will be getting so now you got a list of dictionaries and you can do whatever manipulations you want so this is just this command is just for getting all the 
uh, entire table uh, data so now since we got this let's do some more querying so let's say uh, you want only so let's say you want only uh, out of this table you want only the table data which contains only these two columns so what we'll do is so again we'll go with the person data dot objects dot values values so value in values basically you want to you have to give the uh, column names of which column you want to want it to represent here so i want first name and last name so let's keep these in quotes last name right enter yes as you can see you got only first name and last name up till martin right from mark to martin right mark to martin so similarly like if you want only first name last name and uh, only link so you will be getting link as well so you have to use values keyword here in order to get only those particular columns so it's, it acts like uh, where in sql queries so this is one thing and now let's say you want to filter some of the or let's say uh, so since you got these all values let's observe something here so let's let's take h instead of this so if you observe uh, we have persons with age 22 two persons with age 22 and two persons with age 29 so let's say we want only distinct age rows and we want to eliminate all duplicates so for that we'll simply use distinct keyword here you see no duplicates okay uh, so i uh, so so this distinct is applied for entire row so i thought it will remove the age ones but as you can see age is this is still there right so but if you observe uh, you have ram and ram two two equal equal rows if you see if you see here we have id number five and six are of same values so once we write distinct the entire row gets eliminated so a uh, distinct gives removes all the duplicates so here the distinct is applied to entire row so, so it's my mistake that i assumed it was for only h so this is one of the keyword if you want to filter uh, for removing duplicates or something like that so this is one thing so now uh, let's say so let's say out of these values you want only you want all rows except those which doesn't contain na because na is not applicable let's say and you want only first six rows and you want to eliminate those rows which contain na right so for that we we'll use something called we'll import something called as q so what we'll do from first let's import it so from django dot db dot models import q right yes it's successfully imported so now let's uh re let's get all those rows which doesn't have values in it so again list of person data dot object dot all dot filter so you're basically filtering right filtering all the rows which doesn't contain any filter negate uh, q we don't want those with last name which contains any right dot values Yeah, we got the object so ideally we have to get id number one till six so one two three four five six yep 
these two rows 7 and 8 are eliminated so we are good till now so we will use this keyword Q and filter for uh, eliminating or filtering for certain uh, keywords so this is one thing and uh, so one more use case might be select all the rows which contains which contains a substring let's say dia okay let's say dia so the command for that it will be so let's so it will be filter so we want all those rows which contain dia in, in the last name so you need to uh, mention the column name here last name double underscore contains is the keyword equal to dia dot values yep so we got only those rows which contained dia substring so a substring is basically a part of a, a string so let's say we have a b c d here substring is a b c is a is an example of uh, substring here all right so contains is the keyword to see if dia is contained in the given uh, table rows so only those got 456id got uh, appeared here so since you got these let's say you want to you want to order this according to age right so then what you'll be doing is dot order by age column yes it's 29 29 33 so it's uh, sorted so you can use order by keyword for this and yes if you have any doubts just go to uh, django orm official website so so the reason i told you all these commands is these are mostly used in day-to-day -day life while you're working on django project so here so as i said if you, this is the entire table just a quick recap if you want only certain columns like this first name last name age use values and uh, let's say even after uh, filtering first name last name and age you want only uh, those uh which contains this or this or this you can use contains keyword and you can filter basically according to your requirements but make sure that you have the column names case sensitive and these all because they really matter otherwise it will throw an error so yeah that's it guys for now uh, i'll come again with more information thank you